Kylie Haroldson. We're here in the O'Reilly Family Event Center where the Jury Panthers are getting ready to take on the University of Missouri-St. Louis. I'm here with assistant coach Brandon Kimbrew. Coach, traditionally UMSL has been a guard-oriented team like Jury. Has that changed this year? Um, they're, they're two guards that are starting for them are, are, are still leading them. Um, they, they've had an emergence of a, of a post player that's given them somebody on the inside that's given them a threat, but, but their two leading scorers this year are, are guards as well, but with the post player coming on here of late. After a strong stretch of post play for this team, the offensive production has fallen off a little. How important is it for your big guys to get back involved? Yeah, I mean, we, we need them to score the basketball. We've had some guards that are, that are carrying the load for us. We need them to step up, and when they get a chance to make a basketball play, they're missing they're missing easy ones. Um, we we got to get fouled, get to the free throw line. Seeing the ball going through the hole for them will, will also help, but we need to have some guys step up and give us some balanced scoring. We hope we hopefully will do that today. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Now we're to Bobby Hearn with the highlights. Panthers get Umzel at home looking to make it six in a row. A win clinches at least a share of the GLVC West title. It would be their fourth straight. DU defeated Umzel earlier this season in St. Louis, 60-51. to Cameron Bundy coming off 22 against Maryville. Dance on him, son! DU out to a 12-4 lead early. Coach Kimbrew saying DU needs to get its interior presence back. Drew Moore says, I got you, Coach. Moore feasting in the first half. The sophomore with just eight points over the last couple games. Had nine in the first half alone. Keep feeding the big man because these dudes can't hang. Moore had 16-7. and seven. Bundy and Moore account for 18 of Drew's first 24 points. Panthers hold Umsel to just 23 in the first half of 17 at the break. Drury President and First Lady David and Betty Co. Manuel honored for all of their contributions to campus. Dr. Manuel retiring at the end of May. Midway through the half, Tritons in the midst of a 13-2 run. Brandon Marquardt cuts the lead to just 6 with under 10 to play. Panthers need to stop the bleeding, so here comes Bundy. Finger roll at the rim. Makes it an 8-point game. Back on the other end, Marquardt Again, three down 22 at one point. Umzo comes all the way back to tie it at 65. 305 to go. Shot clock winding down. Dougie Moore, big shot for the freshman. But Joseph English comes right back down and he ties things back up at 67 on this pull up. So they put the ball in Bundy's hands, and Umzel leaves Moore alone once again, and he makes them pay once again. Panthers up a deuce. Here's the biggest play of the game. Bundy takes it away from Trey Ogles down the lane, and my life flashes before my eyes. I promise he made it. I survived. So did Drury. Bundy goes for 24. Panthers hang on 77-72. Afterwards, a not-so-thrilled Bundy. With the conference tournament coming up, is it maybe good to play in clo close games like this towards the end of the season? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's always good to have these close games. I mean, it get, definitely gives us a feel for what maybe the conference tournament could be like. But, I mean, tonight, I mean, it, it should have been a blowout. I mean, we were up by like 17 or 18 and a half, and I mean, we should have came out and definitely should have stepped on the gas, but we decided to slam on the brakes, I guess. I'm guessing this game ended a little closer than you thought coming out of the half, but you pulled off the win. How pleased were you with the effort down the stretch? Well, I thought we, you know, we were completely off track. Uh, you know, some of that was, was our doings. Uh, some of that was, um, you know, umsel has got some pride. And, and uh, it's probably the best we've played the first half. Uh, and then we just lost our, our, our energy and lost our focus. And, and, but, but again, they could have they laid down because and, and, the momentum was up going completely towards Umsel. And, and um, you know, let's, get, let's give some credit to, um, you know, our, our alumni, our Panthers, our fans, because, uh, um, you know, we probably, you're probably not interviewing me right now if we weren't playing at home in front of, in front of our home crowd.